Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we're looking at the Battle Standard Bearer on Royal Pegasus for the Kingdom of Bretonia in Warhammer the Old World. So first of all I want to say a massive thanks to Games Watch for sending us a free copy of this kit in order to check out on the site and review. Uh, I am super excited about the Old World and this is part of about four or five videos we've got coming up today along with a full in-depth deep dive over on spruesandbrews.com. Uh, this is another hero kit that builds the Paladin, that's the battle standard bearer for the Kingdom of Bretonia. Um, this uses um, the same mount that's in the big uh, Kingdom of Britannia box, but with a different sprue for the hero that builds the Battle Standard Bearer. Now, obviously, people who've played Warhammer Fantasy will know that a Battle Standard Bearer is an important thing for your army. We do have resin options on foot and mounted for Britannia as well, but this is a plastic kit that allows you to, if you want, do a full plastic kind of knight army, which is cool. Um, I am planning on doing a kind of um, knight errantry force. Basically it, the narrative is that it's a load of knights errant looking to kind of earn their stripes by going out with a few established knights on a crusade, uh, which is really cool, but obviously that is going to involve lots of uh, kind of knights of the realm, grail knights, knights errant and all that kind of stuff. So I'm probably going to build like a fully kind of knight mounted army and this battle standard bearer on Pegasus is a great option to do that because you get it on a really cool mount as well. So yeah in the video what we'll do is we'll have a look at the model, so look at the kit, have a look at how it goes together and then in the second half of the video we'll have this built so we can show you uh, what it looks like in the flesh and how it stacks up to some other models in the range. Now unfortunately all this stuff has only come like a week before the video was due so I'm not going to be able to get any paint on these. Uh, unfortunately I'm going to try, I might get some painted but uh, realistically that's probably going to be a separate video where I do a bit of an army showcase and show what the army looks like. Uh, if you do pick up the Kingdom of Bretonia box as well, uh, this and the, the separate Knights of the Realm on foot as well will slot quite nicely into that as well. So you've got, you know, quite a big army on the go. So yeah, let's have a quick look at the box before we crack it open. You'll notice that the, the Pegasus itself is the same one that the Duke's on in the army box and I think that's something they're going to do similar to how the tank kits were done for Horus Heresy where you'll have like a core um, like you know creature sprue and then they can do separate smaller frames for the heroes which means they can just package like this character with a number of different mounts and likewise you could have different mounts that your character can go on as well so that's really cool but yeah, it looks really, really good. So what we'll do, we'll crack this open and have a look at what this looks like. So yeah, I've been super excited to uh, to work on some Bretonians. It's um, yeah, it's been really, really exciting seeing all this stuff come out. So first things first, I believe this is on a 50 mil base. Uh, we have got articles coming up on Sprues and Brews talking about all the different um, army lists and what base sizes they're going to be on. So if you are interested in base sizes, keep tuned to spruesandbrews.com because we are going to be doing over the next couple of weeks, um, every couple of days, we'll probably put an article out talking about one of the, the factions. And in that, we'll talk about base sizes, kind of the options they can take. So yeah, stay tuned to that. So you get the base there. The sprue for the Pegasus is identical to the one in the Kingdom of Bretonia box. So if you've seen that video, this will look very familiar and it will go together the same way as well. Um, I think it's quite clever how they've done this and I suspect it's something that we'll see for other factions as well where you've got like universal mounts where a few different character types can go on top of them. It means that they can sell them with, um, with different heroes. So yeah, really cool way of doing that. So that's that, and then the sprue itself for the character. It looks like we get quite a few options on here, so we'll be having a look at the um, at the at the kit in our um, as we look through the instructions. But it looks like we do get a few options on here to you know customize them a little bit. Obviously, for converters as well, having all the parts on here, you might be able to knock something together for a, um, you know, having your paladin on just a Bretonian warhorse. Um, though there are going to be resin options for the other battle standard bearers. So, 
yeah there's lots of options here for, for converting to but obviously for this one I'm going to be building it just as it comes on the on the Pegasus. So before we jump ahead and have a look at the, the model itself we do get the full Bretonian transfer sheet as well. So this is a new transfer sheet that is being included in all the Bretonian kits. I suspect this is going to be in the kind of reissued kits as well like the Grey Old Knights and the like. Um, but yeah, full transfer sheet allowing you to uh, to put all this stuff on your troops, which is really cool. And then we get the full instructions as well. Again, this builds very, very similarly to the um, to the other one. So you build up your body of your battle standard bearer. You build up the Pegasus, and you've got a couple of options for the head as well. So if you have got the Duke from the core box and this paladin you can have them both having different heads in order to make them look a bit varied across the army and then we get the character goes in there with a little fleur de lis that locks in the back and then i believe we just then build the uh, the banner bearer himself so looking at this there's not actually much in the way of customization compared to what i thought when we first saw the sprue you've really just got the head of the pegasus but again you could always use this as the basis for um for converting up other characters but i think he looks he looks really cool with the banner on the pegasus so what we're going to do now is jump ahead to the future where i've got this built and we can see what this looks like in the flesh so jumping into the future, I've got a pair of Pegasuses built. Um, just so to show you the kind of what it looks like first, this is the Lord on Pegasus from the uh, Bretonia edition box. I suspect this is going to get a separate release by itself at some point, but this is the one that you build from that set. Now here I've got the Battle Standard Bearer, and as you can see the Pegasus is exactly the same kit. There are a few alternate pieces that makes it look different, so it's got like a bit of a you've got a choice of different heads that you can give it and the kind of the the stuff on the side of it the kind of shields and barding and stuff um is different to give a little bit of variety but the core pegasus itself is the same and then it's a separate frame included to build the uh, the battle standard bearer but i really like how they've done this it means that for other races what they can do is you know release a new monster and then have models to represent all the different, um, you know, character types I can ride that, which I think is a really cool idea. I do really like this model. Unfortunately, because I've only had a few days, I've managed to start blocking in some silvers, but not managed to get this painted yet. So what we'll be doing is um, probably do another post nearer to the release of the game with my Bretonian army painted up, and we're certainly going to be doing some battle reports and stuff. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what the model looked like in the flash. So yeah, that was a look at the uh, the Battle Standard Bearer on Royal Pegasus for the Kingdoms of Bretonia for Warhammer the Old World. We've got a load of Old World content up on the site today. If you head over to spruceandbrews.com, we've got a full like 7,000 page right up on the game and deep dive. We've also done video unboxings of the, that core box and the modular movement trays as well. So if you are interested, check them all out. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, why not give us a follow? Uh, really appreciate that and it helps support the site. And if you are ordering any old world goodies, if you get it through our affiliate Element Games, that also helps towards running the site and paying for all the kind of hosting costs and stuff. But yeah, until next time, have a great weekend and we'll see you soon.